Cristiano Ronaldo is so powerful, his skills is a bit different. Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Have guy who scores 30 goals a season, it's a it's a major factor in your season. The way that he's known everywhere across the world, it's it's huge. I've seen it with my own eyes. He's probably the most famous footballer on the planet. That's right, Cristiano Ronaldo has plenty of star power, both on and off the pitch. Over the next half hour, you'll find out everything you ever wanted to know about a player who, at club level, has won it all. Ahead on the show, from childhood to fatherhood, we chart the early rise of the man from Madeira and find out what Cristiano, the father, is really like. Honestly, how many uh, diapers did you change? Not, I, I changed a few ones. I prefer to do other things. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yeah. And we put him on the spot in our quick fire challenge. Last time you cried. Last time I cried. <laughs> When you think Ronaldo, you think flair. And he's been flaunting it since showing up on the scene as a teenager at Sporting Lisbon. Those tricks and flicks, along with a spectacular performance in a friendly against Manchester United, earned him a $20 million move to Old Trafford. From day one, Ronaldo worked day and night to improve his game. The thing with Ronnie is, uh, when I met him, he said, like, I want to be the best player in the world. And probably a lot of players say that, but he's someone who um, really worked on it. Ronaldo played a key role in the United team that won the 2008 UEFA Champions League. His goals and performances that season earned him plenty of individual accolades. He was crowned FIFA World Player of the Year and picked up the Ballon d'Or as well. By then, Cristiano had reached superstar status. And after six years and ten trophies in Manchester, it was time for a new challenge. Cue a world record $131 million move to Spanish giants Real Madrid. Of course, it's a great challenge now. You now the people know my dream is to play in Madrid. Ronaldo's move to Spain transformed him into a goal-scoring machine. He netted 33 in his first season, 54 in his second, and 60 in his third. According to his current coach, José Mourinho, a large part of his success comes down to his work ethic and love for football. He loves the game. He loves to train. I had in my career so many players in love with, with the game, and I cannot say nobody more than, than Cristiano. Mourinho is not the only Portuguese football icon who praises Ronaldo, even though he has never won any titles with his national team. Great professional, always want to win. And like a person, he's a nice guy. Maybe if you don't know him, if you just watch him in the television, probably you or love him or you, you hate him. Hate is a strong word, but there are certainly those who dislike Cristiano. His distant and sometimes petulant attitude on the pitch has led many to believe he is arrogant and conceited. People in general think that he's arrogant, that he believes he's the, the best and the most beautiful one in the world. Even some Real fans in Madrid find it hard to like Ronaldo as a person. As a person, I think a bit arrogant. He is conceited. Yes, I think he is too serious and should open up to people. He's a little arrogant, but then if you're the world's greatest player, why wouldn't you be? So, plenty to talk about as I sat down with the man himself. We started our chat by analyzing his performance over the past year. Just how good was your year 2012? Was it the best of your career? So far, maybe yes. And you know, the, the numbers speak for itself. We're approaching the end of the year. And that means 
the, the Ballon d'Or is around the corner. Be honest with me, how much do you want to win it? A lot. Uh, this is mean a lot for me. So if you were someone voting and someone would ask you, why are you going to pick Cristiano Ronaldo? And let's say, why are you going to pick Ronaldo instead of Messi? What would you say? Well, I will, I will put uh, everything in, in one bag and to, to see what they done by the year. If you speak about me and Leo, who win more things, who play better, uh, who win the most important trophies. So I cannot say I deserve to win, but I think I'm in, I'm in good position. I, I spoke with some, with, with some journalists who, who voted for the last award where I was presenting uh, in Monaco, the European Footballer of the Year. And some of them may have voted for Messi because they like Messi more than they like you. Not the football, but the image. Do you think sometimes you're a victim of that? I don't want to cry about that, <laughs> but um, sometimes I think yes. Uh, why? What, why? It's a question that I never give 100% the right answer, because sometimes I really don't know. Maybe sometimes I agree, maybe I have bad image in a pitch because I'm too serious, I take serious, but if you really know me, if you are my friend, if you live inside my house, if you share the day with me, you will know that I hate to lost against my girlfriend. Sometimes we, we are yesterday in a pool and we do it a race in a pool and I win because I don't like to lost. It's simple and that. So when they say you're arrogant, for example, what, what does that make you feel? The people who call me arrogant, most of them, I like, you know, one day to sit with them and to have a, you know, a chat with them to see which way they see that I am arrogant because they, I think they have to, to sit with me, to speak with me, to know the, who is real Cristiano. So who is the real Cristiano? Well, I will describe myself like uh, I'm a friend of who is my friend. I hate to lose. I'm honest. I'm the direct, direct person. So do you think you pay the price for being too honest then? Yeah, sometimes yes, definitely yes. But it is part of my education. You won the Copa del Rey, now you've won the league, next has to be the Champions League. How much pressure is there on the team and how much pressure do you feel to win the 10th? It's a lot of pressure here. Uh, in uh, Real Madrid we're always in, in pressure. So last year we, we, we arrived very close but we we lost in the penalties, and, uh, but I think it's, it's possible. We have the best coach in the world, we have the best players in the club, so we have to think that this, that it will be possible, and I, I hope uh, we become like this year. So you think Jose is the best coach in the world, and how would you de describe your relationship with him? Well, my relationship with him is perfect. I'm sure 100%. 200% that is the best coach, because he deserves, he show every country which is the best, because he win all the leagues. You know, I spoke with him uh, recently, and um, he, he told me that sometimes he wishes he could turn off a switch and that no one would, would recognize him, mm -hmm. that he could have a normal life. Do you understand why he says that? Of course I know. Do you ever feel like that yourself? Yeah, of course, I, not just now, the, the last f five, six years. It's part of your work, your success, so the people um, know you in everywhere. So sometimes I, I wish to go somewhere to the shopping, uh, McDonald's, <laughs> not great example, but uh, to the coffee. And the people don't recognize me, but, you know, we are famous and we have to deal with that. So you do wish sometimes that you could get up and no one would recognize you? Yes, I wish. I pay for that if it's possible. Really? Yes. I will pay. <laughs> Are you offering now? Like a f <laughs> Very good, yeah. <laughs> Family comes first for Ronaldo, especially now he's a dad. Coming up, the famous footballer talks fatherhood. To wake up in the morning, to see him and to say, Daddy, Daddy, 
It's great. I love it. Welcome back. There's no doubt about it, Cristiano Ronaldo is much more than just a player. He's an icon, a brand if you like, and quite a popular one here at the Real Madrid club shop. But how much do people really know about Cristiano the person? Let's take a closer look at the man from Madeira. Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aveiro was born in the island of Madeira on the 5th of February 1985. He was the youngest of four children and soon stood out when it came to playing football. At just 12 years of age, Cristiano made his first big move. The gifted youngster flew to Lisbon to join Sporting's famed academy after being spotted by the club's scouts. It was uh, challenging for him coming to Lisbon alone. The coaches who, who received him, they realized immediately that there was something different over there. And of the process, um, Cristiano was all the time a very focused boy. Ronaldo made his sporting senior debut at 17, but less than a year later, he was on the move again. Manchester United came calling. His life changed on and off the pitch. Luckily, he had a manager, Alex Ferguson, who nurtured him as a player and a person. He's lucky in the sense that with people here that can tell him the truth and be, be straight with him, and he appreciates that. Fortunately, Ronaldo has got good human qualities. He's a good guy, and he knows, he knows the time of day. Having Ferguson by his side helped Cristiano deal with the death of his father in 2005. The loss of his dad, due to an alcoholism-related liver condition, deeply affected him. Ronaldo grew homesick, and that's why he backed a move closer to his native Portugal. The transfer to Real Madrid in 2009 was just what he needed. Most people at the club took to him right away. He generally is a very happy-go-lucky character. He's a real ball of energy when it comes to being with his friends. It was shortly after moving to Madrid that Ronaldo became a father. He got full custody of Cristiano Jr., the baby who was born as a result of an affair he had with a girl in the United States. Right now, he has another girlfriend, Russian supermodel Irina Shaik. As I spoke with Cristiano in Madrid, it seemed he juggled life as a star, a footballer and a father just fine. Thanks in large part, as he told me, to the continuing influence of his mother. I'm going to show you some pictures from your life, important moments, and I want your, your reaction to them. And we have to start with someone who I imagine is... Probably the most important person in your life, your mother. Uh, my mother is my best friend. I know yours is very close. When you look at this picture, what comes to your mind? The person who is, the, of course, the most important for me in my life, who gives me everything that I have, my education, and all the opportunities that I have in my life, she, she gives me, and she always in my sight in the good moments and bad moments. When you were a kid and you were growing up and you were playing on the street, did she know you could be who you are today? No, but she always, you know, she, she never closed the doors. She, have, she always gave me opportunity, to, you know, to follow my dream. You get to Manchester United and you work with this man for several years. What does Sir Alex Ferguson mean to you? Well, he's a fantastic person. He's a woman person, you know. He teach me many things. He's like, uh, like I said before, he's like a father for me in the football because he teach me many things, you know, and uh, I really miss him because, you know, I have a great relationship with him. How, how mean can he get? How tough can he get in the dressing Very room? Very tough. Uh, I think sometimes he's, he cannot, uh, cannot be like that. He's not good for his heart, but he's still tough, strong. I remember him like... And this, the, the, the first day that I saw him, he's always with the same power. It's unbelievable. How much longer do you think he can go? Hundreds. Easily, because he's so strong. 
This is a special moment when you won the FIFA World Player of the Year award. Did you think about your father when you won it? Yes, about my father, my my, my, my whole family, my sisters, my my mom. Because you know, when you win something big, you always is coming always in your mind uh, the most important people in, in my life. This is a picture of your mother, your son and more people close to you, your girlfriend as well, at the Santiago Bernabeu. And I have to ask you about being a father. How is Cristiano the father? I think I'm not, I'm, I'm not bad. <laughs> I, I, still, I still learn. But I think it's, it's the, the best things in life is to have, to have a kid. And How I'm, old is he now? Two. And I think it's, um, it's like I live like a dream, you know, to wake up in the morning and to to see him and to say, hey, Daddy, Daddy, it's, it's great, I love it. How involved do you get? Tell me, how, honestly, how many uh, diapers did you change? Not, I changed a few ones, but it's not... I've my, never changed one. How would, you, how would you describe it? It's not my real challenge to change diapers, and I, to be honest, I don't like a lot, but uh, I change a few ones. I think it's normal. I prefer to do other things. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yeah. Like what? What do you like doing? I to him? give him a shower, for example, is much easy. Uh, to put shampoo, conditioner in his head. <laughs> I think it's much, it's much easier. It's, it's more fun. Mentioned your girlfriend. Here she is. You're someone who's always in the media attention. She is as well. How is it to have a girlfriend that is also quite famous? Well, it's part of the, the business, you know, part of the work. We are... Uh, almost three years together and you know um, and I, I love to be with her I love her so it's great I know we we are both famous but you know this is, this is part I, did, I didn't look for that this is coming natural so it's, it's fantastic I'm sure you have a lot of, of uh, girls around the world who would like to be with Cristiano Ronaldo is it is it difficult to pick just one <laughs> <laughs> no, you know I'm do you see yourself getting married not now, but of course in the future, yes. Is, uh, everyone I, want that. Yeah, I, have, I still haven't done it. I don't have the courage. I don't know. And you don't have the courage. <laughs> no. I don't have yet, but you know, in the future, we never know. Finally, someone who's always linked with you, Leo Messi. What's your relationship with him? Normal. Professional relationship. I never had problems with him. It's, it's always uh, speak with me in a good way, and me too. So we have good relationship and I respect him a lot and for sure he respect me a lot too. So uh, we are professionals and uh, he does his best for his clubs and I do the best things for my club too. Leo and Cristiano have both been scoring goals for fun in Spain. Does that mean Ronaldo prefers La Liga to the Premier League? I try to find out. Both. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're not going to give me an answer. One or the other. From an early age, Cristiano Ronaldo has had to deal with life in the media spotlight. He's had questions about every aspect of his career fired in his direction. But how would he fare in our quickfire challenge? Let's have some fun. Your favorite goal ever. Wow. Favorite goal? Quite a few of them. Yes. I remember the one you scored against Porto from like 50, no. 40 meters now. No. One of your free kicks? Like bullets? Rocket. <laughs> they call it, it rocket. It is a rocket. Yeah. Like the tomahawk they used to call it. In, a in Manchester United against uh, Rome, for example. When I skate with the, the head. Hair? I remember that. Yeah. Your best moment? In football? Yes. In football, when I win... But I have a few too. When I win the champ, the first, the Champions League. When I let's pick that. Okay. I can okay. Only one answer. Okay. When you win the Champions League. Okay. Okay. Lowest moment. When I lost uh, 2004 final against Greece. National team. You remember? Yep. I was there. It hurt me a lot. It hurt me a yeah. lot. I can't imagine how much it. And we should have won. And I say we oh, because I'm Portuguese like you. La Liga or English Premier League. Putting you on the spot here, huh? Both. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're not going to give me an answer. One or the other. 
have to say one? I mean, I'm not going to force you to say no, one. No, I say both, but if you want one, okay, uh, uh, La Liga. Okay. If you were FIFA president, what would you change in football? One rule or... One rule? Uh, like uh, in a rugby, that they use that thing, if they say if it's point or not, when the ball go in. Mm -hmm. You mean the, the instant replay? Yes. You would add instant replay? Yeah. Who's your favorite sports person? I like it how you're really thinking about these things. Um, uh, Jordan, Tiger Woods, Tyson. The last time you cried. Last time I cried. Have you cried since the Bayern game? I know you cried in the Bayern yeah. game. Was that the last time? Yeah. Yes. After your career ends, you're still thinking. After your career ends, manager, media, movies. Which one? Movies. You like to be an actor? Yeah. Have you tried? No, not not yet. Blondes or brunettes? <laughs> My girlfriend. <laughs> so brunette, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> And obviously, <laughs> obviously, Ronaldo or Messi? No, of course I will say myself. Normal. Thanks for playing the game. Pleasure. Thank always. you. Good luck with everything. Thank you, my friend. Yes. Obrigado. So, as you can see from something as simple as a quickfire challenge, Cristiano is someone who speaks honestly about topics both on and off the pitch. Maybe sometimes I agree, maybe I have bad image in the pitch. Overall, I found him to be engaging and good fun. Yeah. I do admit I was surprised to hear that, much like his coach José Mourinho, he struggled with his fame. So you do wish sometimes that you could get up and no one would recognize you? Yes, I wish. I pay for that if it's possible. Well, he can't buy anonymity and chances are he'll never have it. At least while he continues to mesmerize us with his skills. When it comes to his character, he divides opinion. But having known Cristiano for nearly 10 years, I can tell you he's always treated me with the utmost respect. Those are my thoughts, but as always, we'd love to get your opinion on the show, so please tweet me at Pedro CNN. That's a wrap for Cristiano Ronaldo, All Access.